Just a quick little note before this video begins, I actually opened my P.O. box a few weeks ago. That's right, I'm trying to bring those P.O. box opening videos back. So if you have a small business that you're trying to promote, or you would just like to send me something to see me open it in a video, you can send it to this address right here, and I'll open them in a video. Anywho, let's get on with the show. You came here for a laugh, so hopefully I can give that to you. <laughs> Hi there, I'm Georgia and I personally like the process of grocery shopping until I've gotten to the register and realised I've forgotten something. As a kid, the amount of times mum left me at that damn register with a bunch of groceries, I'll tell you what, little seven year old me would be standing there shitting bricks thinking I'm going to have to pay for it all. I'm surprised the person behind the register never tried to comfort me, actually. But then again, if it was me, I'd definitely be fighting the urge not to lean down and whisper you're gonna pay for that. Now, I can't seem to go to the shop without ending up with the squeakiest, most dysfunctional freaking trolley in the whole shop. Well, actually, shopping trolleys in general are dysfunctional. Like, they've got the turning circle of a Toyota Yaris and the reversing capabilities of a kangaroo. I feel like only Aussies are gonna understand that joke, <laughs> but I shall proceed. Do you understand how much arm strength it takes to control a shopping trolley full of groceries? Like, the only reason I do arms at the gym is so I can, like, stop my shopping trolley from, like, veering left. Like when there's a slight slope in the car park. Like, you know what I mean? When you're trying to go straight, that's kind of like drifting off the side. So you gotta like do this shit to like turn it. What's even funnier is watching people struggle with this, but trying to act as if they're not. <laughs> Especially men. It's kind of like they've got the mentality of like, oh, I'm not gonna let this trolley full of baby food sprite and bog roll challenge my masculinity. Fuck off, Diane, I've got this. It's like, okay, Scott, just take it easy. I can see a vein popping out your temple and a possible hernia occurring. Do you need a hand? You see all different walks of life come through the shopping center. Of course, we have the kid screaming the store down because his mum's just told him that he can't eat a dishwashing tablet or something fucking stupid like that. And then you have the person kind of hovering around the condom section trying not to look too obvious like <clears throat> yes I'm definitely looking at the Omega 3. Like we all know you're not looking to purchase those iron tablets you horny dog. <laughs> One of these <laughs> One day I'd just love to wait in the aisle behind it. <laughs> and then when someone is browsing, just like stick my hand through the shelf with a bottle. Like, you don't choose the lube, the lube chooses you. That'll be $16.99, thank you. And then you have the, um, the bogans. There's no other way to put it. You can hear them coming from a mile away. Coughing, yelling, swearing, but most of all, the echoing clack clack sound of grimy billabong thongs. That's right, two sizes too small and thinner than the earth's crust especially on the heel. It booms through the shopping center. And they always travel in a pack. First, it's always the mum. She waddles into the grocery store, hair drenched and slicked back into a tight low ponytail. She's stuffing a pack of cigarettes back into her pocket with class, of course. She grabs a shopping trolley and then <laughs> something small and feral scurries out from behind her. What is it? It's the youngest child. And you better bet he's got a buzz cut and a ratty the length of a cricket bat. That's right. Now he's on the loose in the shopping center, just running around barefoot with some sticky substance around his mouth. They've always got something around their mouth. The dad walks in, chucks a two litre coke bottle in the trolley and calls it a day. You better bet that's his input for the weekly shop. The oldest kid is now in the picture and they all start yelling. They always seem to be angry with each other for no reason. I swear they're like competing with each other to see who can scream the loudest over something that can be conducted through civilised conversation. Like they'll be having a screaming argument about which cheese they want to purchase. And I'm just usually standing there like just get your tasty cheese block and stop embarrassing yourself. And then they exit with a trolley full of food but the nutrition value of a walnut. These types of people can make grocery shopping stressful. Or sometimes it's just stressful enough as it is. Unless you're someone like me who gets their groceries delivered. <laughs> My partner and I tend to put up grocery shopping till the very last minute or we just completely forget and order takeaway. But then I discovered HelloFresh and honestly haven't looked back. Except when Double Cream Brie is half priced then we're straight back to the shop. It's literally the easiest way for us to eat better with flexible menu options to suit everyone. Sam and I cooked Asian pork meatball taco. Sam got a bit to a head of himself and started cutting the celery wrong. Little did we know this was only the beginning of Sam's stuff ups for the night. Then we started prepping the veggies. I like it, Picasso. Looks like ratatouille. You see anything in your eyes? Like a rat. <laughs> that was my um, rat impression. No, obviously, that's getting cut out. <laughs> <laughs> Then we cooked the meatballs, glazed them, and did a taste test, and can I just say, 10 out of 10. Just listen to that crunch. Mm. If you would like to order HelloFresh for yourself, make sure to use my discount code HelloGP because it will get you up to $130 I just off. thought it was time for a new look. What do we think? <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Remember to eat your veggies and pick the right shopping trolleys. See you later, potato.